in this question it's given that two resistances are connected in series and even in parallel when they are connected in series r1 r2 will be looking like this when connected in parallel r1 r2 will be looking like this right we will use the formula of series connectivity and parallel connectivity and this data is given to you that is equivalent resistance when connected in parallel is 4 ohm and equivalent resistance when connected in series is 18 ohm right now we use the formula when connected in series the two resistances value is simply addition that is r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 right and we just put up this value of 18 ohm which is given into the question and this will be our equation number 1 Similarly, when connected in parallel, equivalent resistance can be given by R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. We just put the value of 4 and substitute the value of R1 plus R2 from equation 1 as 18 and we get the value of R1 into R2 as 72. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now we will be using one formula that is R1 minus R2 whole square is equal to R1 plus R2 whole square minus 4 R1 R2. Right? minus 4 r1 r2 how this is happening let me explain it just expand the rhs it will be coming as you can see r1 square plus r2 square minus 2 r1 r2 which is equal to r1 minus r2 whole square so in this way we can write r1 minus r2 whole square as r1 plus r2 whole square minus 4 times r1 r2 and just use the values from equation number 1 and equation number 2 into the rhs so R1 plus R2 put the value of 18. So 18 a square minus 4 times R1 R2. Put the value of R1 into R2 from equation number 2 as 72. Now 18 a square as we have just put solved into the live session just now. We put up this value of 18 a square as 324 and 4 into 72 is 288. So R1 minus R2 whole square is coming as 36. Take a square root into both the sides to get the value of R1 minus R2 as 6. Right? Let's say this is equation number 3. Now just add equation number 1 into this where you can see R2 and R2 will be cancelled out and 2 times R1 is 24. So in this way we get the value of R1 as 24 by 2 which is equal to 12 ohm. Now from equation number 3 you can see the value of R2 can be written as R1 minus 6 right. So from equation number 3 R2 is R1 minus 6 which is coming as 12 minus 6 which is equal to 6 ohm right. So R2 is calculated as 6 ohm. In this way we have solved the question and we have we had already derived on the value of R1 and R2. So R1 is 12 ohm and R2 is 6 ohm. Thank you.